Hi, this is Billy Reader, and back again with yet another tutorial. This time we're going to be talking about audio, uh, mixing it in Adobe Premiere. Uh, this might as well just go ahead and get started. Um, good audio is essential to good video. Uh, some folks even think it may be more important than the quality of video, uh, because nothing can wreck a a video quicker than bad audio. It can make it look from, go from prof professional to super amateurish. So uh, what I've got is just some, uh, some rough footage I've been laying around uh, sitting on my, my computer. And I've already got a shot of this guy. His name is Dagen. So everybody say hi to Dagen. And he's sitting at our uh, student center having some uh, lunch. And go ahead and play that real quick so you can hear it. Maybe. What I like about Bass Tech is a really friendly environment. You know, there's a lot of food to choose from. And it's pretty good. Okay. So, first of all, let me go ahead and just make a statement here. Anytime you do an interview with someone, use a microphone other than what comes on your camera. Um, camera microphones aren't typically made to do much more than good, get good natural sound. Uh, and, they, and they do that fairly well, but if you're going to be interviewing someone, especially if they're in a uh, room like this one that's pretty noisy, uh, you're really going to lose a lot of quality with your audio um, as a result of that. So, uh, but what we're going to do is mix in some B-roll shots into this, and then we're going to mix the audio a little bit to see what we've got. There's already quite a bit of background noise, so we really don't have to add a lot, um, but we're going to go through the motions anyway. So the first thing I do, I've just got this shot and just going to move back and forth, and I'm just going to add a cross dissolve on the front just to so they have a nice little. What I like about Bass Tech is really friendly environment. Okay, really friendly environment, and so I'm just going to go ahead and get a shot. So let's go ahead and import one more video. Let's find a good crowd shot. How about that one? Perfect. Pull that in. All right, so there's the room he's sitting in. So we're gonna go ahead and just create an endpoint. And there's an out point, and then we're gonna drag that in. All right, so right there it says really friendly environment. And this is one of those good little points when I talk about editing on the beat. Really pay attention to the rhythms that people talk. And a lot of times they'll give you very uh, clear edit points very often end of sentences or if they use some sort of plosive which is like a B or a P sound uh, kinda has a sort of a beat to it so pay attention to those so let's play that really quick okay so there it is and we're just gonna add another one I'm just gonna throw in a few clips here Exporting, or bring exporting. Uh, bring that down there, and we'll bring this one over. Okay. So there's our videos. Now, if we just play it, I haven't done any sort of audio adjustment right now. So if we just play it, we end up with this. What I like about Bass Tech is a really friendly environment. There's a lot of food to choose from, and it's pretty convenient. You can try it to simple places. It's usually prepared fairly well. Okay, at this point, essentially what happens if we don't do any audio correction is his voice, especially once we take his face off the screen where you, you cease to be able to see his mouth moving and uh, psychologically recognize that he's talking, uh, it really gets muddy and so it's really kind of hard to hear. So the way we're going to do this is just go back to the beginning and if we go back up here to the audio mixer at the top of the source monitor, click that, we're going to get all of our different audio channels. Um, and so I'm just actually going to just drop these down just so we can have more. I need to add another track. So if you want to add another audio track, go to sequence add tracks and you can add video tracks you can add audio tracks so I'm just going to add a couple of tracks alright so now and I'm doing this primarily so you can see just the difference 
So as you'll notice, he's on audio one. Audio two. Audio three. And okay, so what we want to do is mix these so you can still hear him. Now this is the point where having a good microphone would have really helped because we could have pulled a clear voice way out of that and dropped all that background noise down. But since it was recorded at the same time, uh, as far as his audio is concerned, there's not a lot we can do. So uh, we have two choices. Uh, a, we can just cut out all the B-roll audio, but that also takes out a lot of that sound, natural sound that might have come along with whatever the original shot was that might be you know fairly important and significant to really help kind of bring in the feel of the place um, but it is what it is so we've got a couple options uh, option one if you go down here and you click the drop down menu you can see the waveform of each of these tracks alright so one way you can raise the audio level is simply there's this little yellow line right here. You can just click and push it up. And if you notice it has a volume level, you can click that drop down and get a panner so you can go left to right. But I'll be honest, I really don't like making these adjustments right here. Um, so what I'm actually going to do is I do everything from the audio mixer because it just gives a better sound all the way around. Now, to be sure, there's a whole lot more you can do with audio than just raise and lower the volume, uh, especially if you start working with Adobe Audition. You can really change a lot of stuff. So and we may play with some of that later. But for now, all we're going to do is set the, his volume. Really friendly environment. Okay. And if you notice, it's peaking right here in the yellow, and that's about where you want it to peak. Um, if someone is it's too loud it'll be going all the way up here and it'll really start sounding garbly uh, if you've ever heard somebody scream into a microphone and how it gets really distorted that's called clipping and what we want to make sure is we're not clipping any of the sound uh, but then once we incorporate the other audio you notice it's just as loud so we want to, what we want to do is actually back that down so I'm just going to start by pulling these down so we've got Audio two, three, and four. I'm gonna go ahead and drop those down. What I like about Bass Tech Play is it's a really friendly environment. You know, there's a lot of food to choose from, and it's pretty convenient. It's right in the center of campus. Uh, the food's usually prepared fairly well. Okay, see how that works? Alright, so you can hear everything again, and it's all well and good. I may actually push his volume up just really a little bit more. A lot of food to choose from, and it's pretty convenient. It's right in the center of campus. Uh, the food's usually prepared fairly well. It's not so bad. It's, it's pretty cheap, and most of it's covered with uh, my school money, so I don't have to worry about paying for it. Right. What I like about Bass Tech is so there we go. All right, we'll throw in a little cross dissolve so we fade to black. Now, uh, when I'm talking about editing and making sure you hit, you know, certain things, one of the ways that you can do to make sure you're sort of editing on the beat is you notice down here in the waveform monitor how you have these little peaks a lot of times these are pretty good indicators of where those little moments are and if you stretch it out you can see a little bit more how those things occur so like right there that 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 is the audio display version of the word lot so all right does this make a little bit more sense to everybody i hope um, you can do lots and lots of mixing, you know, especially start bringing a natural sound from other places, and you can really, really create some um, very interesting, very intimate feels. Um, but you have to take your audio seriously, so make sure you're always using uh, good microphones, make sure your batteries are charged if they're wireless, and always, always, always wear headphones when you're recording audio, because... The last thing you want is really bad audio that you don't find out about until you get in the edit suite. So, that takes care of that for today. Now you have the basics of mixing um, audio levels. So, I'm Billy Reader. Uh, in the meantime, do good work, uh, edit on the beat, and have a great day. See ya!